What up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And we talking Nonito Donera wins, Ryan Burnett injured. Oh, wow, well, I just got finished watching this fight, man. I was asleep. I was going to watch it live, and I, I fell asleep, man. And uh, as soon as I wake up, I see what happened. You know, I watched the fight on YouTube. I see what happened. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy, man, in boxing sometimes. I was, uh, I did a, a video about, uh, you know, injuries that, you know, athletes face a couple of weeks ago. You can go back and look through the video, see if you can find it. <laughs> uh, it was a crazy fight, man. It was actually pretty even, if you ask me, up until the point where, uh, Ryan Burnett, uh, couldn't come out of the corner. I think it was like the fourth round. It might have been like the end of the fourth, third or fourth round. <clears throat> and he was trying to uh, throw a punch, and it's, it seemed like he just, I thought he caught a cramp at first. It just seemed like he turned, he pivoted his leg in a in the opposite direction that he pivoted his body. And, you know, I guess it just, some gave, you know, sometimes, man, I got, uh, I don't, you know, sometimes when you got injuries, you know, to your back, it's real easy to mess those injuries up, whether they came from, you know, like a car accident or taking a, a big fall or, you know, falling off a bike or something, you know. Small things can come back later on in life and really bite you in the butt, man. And I don't know whether this was, a, whether he pulled something, whether he slipped a disc, or I'm guessing he probably slipped a disc the way he was pawing at his back and the, the spot he was tugging at. Or it might have been his, his back, you know, right above his, uh, in his hip area. His, his uh, hip bone might have shifted, you know. Because uh, he was pawing right at the area, right around the tailbone and the, uh, right above the, the butt, you know, right above, butt, above your butt cheek where, where your butt meets your uh, tailbone and everything, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure either he slipped the disc or his hip bone came out of place or, man, it was, because he looked like he was in some pain. He didn't look like he was faking it. He looked like he was in some pain. And, uh, man, playing basketball, I've had those type of injuries before where you just, you move, your body's moving faster than what your legs are moving. And you're moving your upper torso quicker than what you're moving your lower torso. And it can really shift some things around sometimes, man. Like, seriously, I've... I've done that playing basketball a few times, and, you know, my back's not, <laughs> I ain't got the back of a 16-year-old no more, so my back's not in great condition anymore, you know, taking car accidents and all that, and just life, man, so I can, I, I feel where he's coming from, man, he, uh, like, when I'm playing basketball sometimes, and, and, I, uh, and I'm playing defense, you know, even just playing, doing something as simple as playing defense, and getting down to certain motions and having people, you know, back into you, you know, constantly bumping you and bumping you and bumping you. And then going, trying to put your hands straight up in the air. And you might try to turn and try to block. The, I've tried to put my hands up and turn and block the ball and have my back lock up on me <laughs> on the basketball court. <laughs> and, man, it is not... Uh, it's nothing to laugh about, really. It's one of the most painful. It feel like you got shot, for real. It feel like, uh, especially if it's a problem within your tailbone, which I, uh, is my problem. I have a problem with, like, my lower tailbone. It's, it's a combination of something that happened when I was playing basketball and a car accident I had. So a lot of times when I'm getting a little too physical with guys, you know, you know, back has a man of its own, but... Uh, like, it feels literally like you got shot, or like something's, you know, ricocheting off your bone. It's, it, and it's uh, it's it's almost a paralyzing pain. It's like you can't even move. You can't, your arms go numb, your legs go numb, and you know, your toes go numb. You're like, what the, what is going on? <laughs> so I, I kind of feel for him, man, and to be in a, a boxing ring with somebody who's punching you and something like that happens to you, you can't defend yourself. You know, hey, it is what happens, man. This is the sport you in, though, so, you know, you can't, uh, hats off to, uh, uh, 
Ryan Barnett, man, for, you know, sticking in there for them last 30 seconds that he did, man, because uh, he took a couple little whoppers <laughs> from Nonito. He got a couple little sneaky shots in there on you when your back went out, son. <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm not laughing at you, player, if you ever see this, man. I'm laughing with you, man. I, like I said, I've been through the same scenario, man, and I, I feel your pain. It literally feels like you've been shot. It is a paralyzing pain. And it numbs all your limbs, so it's really not a lot you can do when you're when you're in the boxing ring and you trying to box and your back goes out. It's you might as well be paralyzed. You might be be in a wheelchair, man. For real, it's that's that type of pain, man. So hey, shout out to no Nito Donaire, man. You got your belt back. You know you got another belt. You know you had, you got the vacant belt, and you uh. Now in a, a semifinalist for the, uh, I believe it's the WBO belt. Uh, well, in a competition that will be taking place next year, early next year. So, shouts out to you, Nonito. I enjoyed the fight, man. I wish I got to see more action. Feel sorry for you, uh, Ryan Burnett, man. Hopefully you live to fight another day. You'll be back. Uh, man, you know, that's... Uh, Hit that description box below, man. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the fight. You know, if you need any boxing gear, any Pacquiao gear, any fighter, hit that description box. I got an Amazon associate link down there. That's Ali Land Boxing Talk, and we out of here.